clothe me this morning. Clothe me this morning with your garment of favor. With your garment of favor. So I pray for favor. When favor is missing in the life of a man, everything will be missing out of your life. It is favor you need. Favor is what makes people accept you at first sight. It is what makes people receive you just hearing your name, even without meeting your person. It is God's favor. Personally, you need favor, sir. I prophesy. The Bible says, and they find favor with God and man as they began to praise the Lord. Acts chapter 2, verse 47. Can I have that scriptures? I wanted to cry this morning like somebody that is really hungry. Sir, when that element of and that frank sense of favor is look at this praising God and having favor with how many people, sir? After this money prayer, you will find favor with president of bishops. Amen. Those of you going for NYC, you will find favor with your officials. Amen. Your posting, you will find favor. Amen. You is it praising God and having favor with all people? And the Lord added to his church, lift up your and say, Father, Father, as from today, as from today, and the rest of my life, the rest of my life, give me favor, give me favor before people, before people open your mouth and pray, from today, and the rest of my life, will you give me favor, I receive favor, favor, Lord, from today, Jehovah, give me favor. Favor before me. Rapa papa da paragas. Ya kasana kaparata. Rapa papa da paragete. I receive favor. Favor with a man. Favor with a man. Favor with a man. Favor with a man. Favor with men that matters. Favor with men in government. Authority, favor with people at the top of our fear until my glory is risen and nations begin to hear the sound of my voice. I receive ministerial favor. I receive ministerial favor. I receive ministerial favor. In Jesus' name. Amen. Luke chapter 2, verse 52. The Bible told us that there are two directions of favor. Luke chapter 2, verses 52. The Bible says, And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature. He increased in wisdom and stature, having favor with God and man. You are to have favor first with who, sir? You must not break the protocol until you find favor with God. You can't find favor with man. But quite unfortunate that we are trying to breach the process. I've told you that God is a God of order. If this is not a pattern, then you will not get the result of favor. You must first find favor with God. I might speak to somebody, sir. There are two people here you will find favor with God. Amen! Sir, anything you do without favor from God is lobbying. You don't beg through, you break through, and it takes favor to break through. Begging is not our covenant obligation. Am I blessing you? The moment you find favor with the Lord, automatic what you follow is that men should begin to favor you. You're going to pray, Lord, Lord, let me find favor in your sight. Let me find favor in your sight. After the order of Jesus. After the order of Jesus. Remember, Mary find favor in the sight of the Lord. Elijah find favor in the sight of the Lord. E Elizabeth find favor. You are the next person that will find favor. Amen. Lift up your two hands. If you take this prayer seriously, your life can change this morning. Say, My Father, my father let me find favor, favor in your sight as I pray this morning. Pray. Open up your mouth and fire up. Oh, 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 oh. Let me find favor in your sight as I pray this morning. Lord, as I step out of my house let me find favor favor unlimited favor unkillable open your mouth as i step out of my house this morning let me find favor on your side oh god after the order of jesus after the order of jesus after the order of jesus I receive favor with God, my Father. Let 
me find favor in your sight. Ele perete perete que para. Aya kaka kaka kaka. Oh my God. Somebody start praying for favor. Jeti neke perete. Neke ke ruata parata. E perete peruaka parata. Iya kapa. Iya para kapa super neke per. Reke 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 per reke reke per reke reke. Oh, shaka tapi. Talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. Let me find for myself, my household, my daughter, in my business. Let me find for you in your sight. Shaka da bara da da bas. I shaka da bara da da bas. I shaka da da bara da da bas. I shaka da da bara da 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 bas. 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 Genesis chapter 6 verses 8 in Genesis chapter 6 verses 8 the word of the Lord says Genesis chapter 6 verses 8 but Noah find favor in the eyes of the Lord Noah so the secret of the success of Noah is that Noah find favor the secret of the excellence of Jesus he found favor if you want to have excellent results, what you need is God's favor. Lift up your two hands. Sir, you will not struggle again. Amen. If everything you have in your life, you are paying for it, it's because you are working on that course. There should be favor that will attract things for you. Lift up your two hands and pray with me. Say, my father. My father. Let me find favor in your sight. Let me find favor in your As heart. I pray this morning. As I pray this morning. Change my story. Change my story. Lift up your voice. Father, and talk to the Lord. Go ahead and talk to the name of Jesus. Let me find favor in your sight. As I pray this morning. Let me find favor in your sight. Favor. As I pray this morning, he had me fight for your soul. Pray for favor. Don't behave like this, boy, Abraham. Pray for favor. It is favor that changes the story of me. I kaka na te kapili ya kwande. E preka te preka te pura. Shaka te kaka te kaka te kaka des. I shaka te kaka te kaka te kaka des. In Jesus' name, pray. The difference between you and anybody doing better than you in life is favor. Anybody doing better than you in life, not because that they are better. The only different, the edge is that they are favored. In fact, if you get the same platform, you will be more productive than them. I want to get an answer. So understand that there's a huge difference between a man working in favor and a man working outside favor. So their experiences are not the same. Life is always rosy and beautiful for the person who has found favor with the Lord. I'm praying for three people this morning. May you find favor with God. Amen. This morning, as you step out, every eyes that sees you will favor you. Amen. The one that sees your children will favor your children. Amen. If your amen can be the loudest as I begin to walk in God's favor. Amen. Take your seat in a moment as we hear God's word briefly and we'll be on our way. Are you excited? Hallelujah. God cannot count on some people. Hallelujah. Responsibility is a proof of spirituality. No man is truly spiritual until he can embrace responsibility. Meeting schedule as requires in the timing of heaven. Are we together now? Understand this, hallelujah. A Bible says, he that is fine, faithful in little, unto him shall much be committed. Hmm? If in your little days we are not faithful, then we can enjoy this order of God's favor. If you understand what I'm saying, shall fire. fire. Share the links. Ensure you share the link and let people be following us this morning. Because I know after this morning, your life is going to be reordered. Because a frank sense is coming. And that frank sense is the frank sense of favor. And that's what brings supernatural acceptance. You'll be accepted everywhere you go. In the name of Jesus. What is divine favor? What is divine favor? I'm speaking on divine favor quickly. We'll be looking at something quickly. Hallelujah. We are looking at three things. Number one, what is favor? 
Number two, what happens when favor comes upon us? And number three, what causes the favor of God to come? Did you see that? We are looking at three things very fast. Hallelujah. Number one, we want to understand favor, right? Somebody shout favor. The topic is divine favor, but quickly, we want to understand what favor means. Number two, what happens when favor comes? And number three, what, what is it that can provoke the favor of God? We are not using our devotion, Mama. In the name of Jesus. Number one, we are looking at what? What are we looking at this morning? We are looking at the topic is divine favor. And we are starting by considering first, what is favor? Number two, what happens when favor comes? Number three, what? Hallelujah. Are we together? What is it that will provoke favor? Let me say this, sir. Life will be full of futility when favor is absence in your life. Listen to me, sir. Listen to me and listen to me well. In the absence of favor, nothing supernatural will work. And the experiences and the daily encounter of a man who does not have an impartation and endowment of God's favor upon his life is not going to be funny. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. May you enter favor this morning. What is favor? Favor is an endowment of God. Favor is an endowment of God that releases upon a person and gives the person influence access to people access to places access to things unusual opportunity exhortation and divine intervention can you see what happens sir when favor come number one we have influence someone say influence that is hallelujah i can now begin to alter the course of a things somebody can say pastor pastor i'm looking for admission in this school if i find favor with people in that school I can influence things to favor the person talking to me. That is what favor does. Favor gives us influence. When the favor of God comes upon the life of a person, the first thing you see is what's that? Influence. Number two, when favor comes upon the life of a person, we have access to people. If I'm favored, I can just wake up this morning and I say I'm going to state house and I will meet with the governor this morning. In fact, I can later in the evening also just take an aircraft and say I want to go and greet Mr. President. And I will enter there on the premise of what's a favor. Nobody do stop and check. Nobody search me just because I have access by what's a by favor. A young man said to me many years ago, he said a man called me and he said meet me in my house. I'm taking you to Asso Rock. When he got to the man's house, he laughed. Because the man does not look like who can be in Asso Rock. And like play, the man said, are you ready? He said, I'm ready. He said, let's go. And the first they got to airport, it was like him. They entered the aircraft. And then they landed in airport in Abuja. And then a car came to pick them to Asso Rock. They searched every other person thoroughly. But when they got to Asso Rock and they entered the place, Usiban Jo approached the man and prostrated to greet the man. Then he opened his mouth. That so this man that I'm seeing as a nobody, is a mighty man of influence and he has access to what's a great people in government seats because of what's a he found favor with them so he could assess them at any time the brother said to me he said what he ate that the way he slept it was like heaven he says sir there is a heaven before heaven there is heaven before heaven so when they came back the man said anything you want consider it done what opened that door was favor sir he said he came back it was still like a dream. In fact, when they were about to return back to Lagos, they called them in Asso Rock. That the aircraft is about to take off. And the VP said the aircraft must not fly until these two people join the aircraft. Who was the people, sir? Sir, when you keep company with the favor, you can enjoy part-time honor. The moment you disconnect, you go back to your horrible and miserable life. You need the grace. You need the frank sense of God's favor. Sir, you will die a nobody until favor comes upon you. Nobody honors and celebrates people don't carry favor. You might not be learned. You might not go to school. You might not be able to read. But there is something that can come upon you, sir. Am I talking to somebody, sir? There is something that can come upon you that is going to do us, sir. It's going to shift you and bring you into great seats. Remember the story of Prophet Ezekiah. Prophet Ezekiah said they went to preach somewhere and when they got there, they brought some bishop and they put them on big chairs and they asked him to sit down on a low chair and they sat down on the chair and he said Oluwa, me too I want to sit down with big people and the Lord said eh, what do you want? This one on that seat, they are already favored what will you want? And he said Oluwa, Mufet Dabiru 
he was telling God, he said, I want to do something. I want to scatter this place so that me too I can receive instant favor and me too I can sit down with people in the aims of affair. And the Lord said, what do you want? He said, you want rain. And immediately the weather changed. And when the, I told you, first, it's favor with God that provoke and releases favor from men. And he said, instantly the weather changed. And when the weather changed, the governors and the ministers, they look at the pastor they put on the pew. They say, no, 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 we don't want rain. We don't want rain. It will disturb our program. And they told the man, please, can you help us do something that the rain will not fall? Then the man did all what he could do, but the rain was almost falling. And then the wife of one of the government officials came and he said, this is my prophet, Prophet Ezekiah. And he said, please, can you do something to the rain? And he said, oh, no! And the weather cleared off. And then they said, bring a seat from that place and bring a seat here. He could not speak a good English. He doesn't know how to speak a big grammar. But when the favor of the Lord rested upon him, sir, he is a common mechanic who find favor and is sitting down with kings and prince today sir you can be gifted and die local when favor is not upon your life you can be skillful and die wretched when favor is not upon your life it is not about what you know it is about what is on you sir and that favor is coming upon you today as soon as you don't need certificate you need favor yes, sir. when favor speak protocols break what breaks protocol is favor Sometimes they might not want to bend protocol for you. But because of the mystery of favor, Ayakata, Esther was not qualified, sir. Esther was a village girl. She doesn't even know what it takes to live the civilized life. It was his uncle that said there's a trial, there's a promo for wife going on. Just go and give it a try. But the favor of God was upon their life. I prophesy to somebody, everywhere you go from today, if they speak people upon your appearance, they will use you to replace them. Your amen is on your chair. I said they will use you to replace them. Somebody shall favor. I can't hear you. Somebody shall favor, 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 favor. Take your seat. Favor gives influence. Favor gives access. Favor brings opportunity. Favor brings in divine intervention. One of the things, you can't be on favor with God and God will not keep intervening for you. Nothing catches a man of, you can't even waste the love of a man of favor. May God help you, sir. Who is God helping, sir? The Bible talked about, the Bible talks about God being in Pasha. God is what sir god is not partial but when they come to the subject of favor god can unpick you in the midst of crowd is that not partiality sir uh, you don't understand god is in partial huh? but ond and master degree they both apply for a job i'm telling you about dami now dami architect he had ond the other person had master degree in architecture design and they both apply for a job, and God picked OND and gave OND a job that is meant for a master degree holder. Are you following now? The most qualified person is MSc. The most preferred person is excellent. The most exposed person is excellent. But favor say no. Favor say it's not by MSc, but it's by what is upon you. Not is what's in your head, but what's upon you. And they pick that me and they drop somebody with MSc. That is divine partiality. What is favor? Favor means what's a divine partiality. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Wherever you go from now, the Almighty God will favor you. Baby, can you shout favor? I can't hear you. Can you shout favor? Romans chapter 2, verse 11. The Bible says, For there is no partiality with God. Psalm 34, verse 8. All test and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Acts chapter 10 verse 38 the Bible said then Peter opened his mouth and he said in truth I perceive that in God there is no partiality sir listen to me God loves every person equally and is no respecter of anybody God loves us equally and he has no respect for anybody but in his dealing with mankind we find out that yet God still released what's a favor of some people Isaiah God does not respect every what he has no respect for anybody. Treat us what sir equally, but sir, there are some people, sir, that the hand of God is still upon them in an unusual measure, and that is giving them comparative edge in life. That is what I'm telling you this morning. That that hand is coming upon you this morning. Who is that person? Who is that person? 
Who is God favoring this morning? Ayah. Sir, the hand of the Lord can come upon certain people to a point, particular season, moments in life. And what I want to say this morning is that expect divine favor. Who is expecting it this morning? Let me show you an example of people who the favor of God came upon. The favor of God, look at people that the favor of God came upon. Number one, somebody say Nehemiah. Say Nehemiah. Nehemiah was the first, is the first person I want us to consider. Nehemiah is a man who received divine favor. The Bible told us about the story of Nebuchadnezzar, the Babylonian king who attacked Jerusalem and he conquered Jerusalem in Nehemiah chapter 1 verse 2. Nehemiah, the, the, who? He attacked Jerusalem, conquered Nebuchadnezzar. Attacked, if you check Nehemiah chapter 1 and chapter 2, he attacked the city of Jerusalem, conquered the city. Are, are you following us? Sir? He broke their temple, destroyed their city wall, and took a lot of people into captivity in Babylon. As they are listening, there was, then this transition took place. The Persian Empire over here, the Babylon Empire, the people of God were in bondage at that time, and Nehemiah was serving in the palace of a king. And in the midst of his serving, he was a cup bearer. He was serving whatever the king wanted to drink. That was his own ministry. In the palace, as I for an answer, while he was in the palace, they came to tell him what has happened. That Jerusalem, the war of Jerusalem has been broken. The war of the city has been compromised. The people of Israel has been also held captive. And now they are in the Babylonian city. And the Bible says, when he will hear these things, his heart was still and he felt that he really needed to do something for Jerusalem. But yet he was limited. He know, you know, they told him about the report of his people. How the great misfortune that have happened to them. He felt very bad. But sir, there was nothing he could do. You know, many times they tell you what your family is going through. You feel pain, but you can't do anything. Most of your mommy call you overnight and says that I didn't eat overnight. In fact, I've not eaten for the last three days. You really feel for your mom, but yet there's nothing you can do. Such was the case of Nehemiah. And when every time you find yourself in such states that you hear things that breaks your heart and you don't have anything to do, the reason why there's nothing you could do about it is because you lack favor. How can you hear the two pastors come to me in my office and say, Apostle, do you know when I was coming back from office, my only bike that I'm using to do business, the policeman just took the bike from me and since morning I've been running a task -getter. I'm still going there this morning, I'm running a task -getter. I look at pastor because there's nothing I can do. I feel weak now. Ah, and I'll say, I wish I can help you. But if favor was upon my life, I would say, which station? Then he said, I, I like Bible police station. I said, go back there. Tell the dupe you that apostle says she give you the key back. He said, really? He said, yes. And then you get there. He said, apostle says she give me my key. He said, you know apostle? Wow, he's a good man of God. Sorry, I didn't know. Nobody should collect it. Come, all the police people. Look at this man. Don't touch him again. On what premise is he then joining such dimension of benevolence? What's that? Favor. Sir, you will not be able to help people when the frank sense of favor is missing in your life. That is what I'm saying. So that your family will not continue to suffer, carry favor. So that you will not give birth to children and they will suffer, carry favor. So that you will not be a storyteller, carry favor. Every man that wants to be a game changer must be a man that carries God's favor. This guy went, but there's nothing he could do. And in the midst of faith, he said, although I might not know what to do, but I've heard Simon that if I can connect to God's favor, favor with God, we bring favor before man. And look at what he did, Isaiah. What what was the wisdom of this guy? The guy switched to prayer. He connected to God by favor. I hope Pastor Isaiah is listening to what I'm saying. Yes, so in Nehemiah, his heart was told. He felt that he needed to do something for Jerusalem. He told himself, I need to go back and rebuild the wall. But there was no resources. So the only thing he could do was that he started praying. How to connect to God's favor that provoke favor for men is through prayer. Every man that wants to carry favor must be a man of prayer. Yet the prayer of Nehemiah. Maybe you should go back home and pray today. Nehemiah chapter 1 verse 11. Can I have it? Nehemiah chapter 1 verse 11. And he said, Oh Lord. Church, can we pray it? Oh Lord. I pray. Please let your ears be attentive to the prayer of your servant, to the prayer of your servant who desire to fear your name, and let your servant do us prosper this day. And as I pray, I what's that? And as I pray, and as I pray, and as I pray, as I what sir? And as I pray, I can't hear you now. And as I pray, he grant him favor, mercy is favor. When he prayed, the Bible says he grant him favor, for he was a cup bearer. 
Aya. So Nehemiah prayed and asked God for mercy in the sight of the king. This prayer was for divine favor. A couple of days later, Nehemiah chapter 2, verses 1 to 8, he prayed. And look at what look at the response of his prayer. Sir, after the prayer, God bathed him with favor. God soaked him with favor. And then he entered into the presence of the king. And it came to pass in the month of Nisan, in the 20th year of Osa, at Zerephthes, the king died. He said, What? That wine was before him. And I took up the wine and I gave it unto the king. And now I had not been. What's up? He has never been sad in his presence. Next verse, please, can I have it? And the Bible says, Wherefore the king said unto him, Oh boy, why is your countenance sad? What is working there, sir? What is working there, sir? Sir, there are people that are sad that nobody takes notice of. What makes people take notice of your problem is favor. What makes people take notice that you have a need is favor. Why is nobody recognizing that you need help? You don't need help. Yet nobody recognizes it. It's because there's no favor. Don't you need a companion? And yet nobody is seeing that you need a companion because there's no favor. It is favor that announces our need. It is favor that puts in the act. You see somebody say, I perceive that person does not have money. So I went to give me 20,000. Nobody will perceive anything if there's no favor upon your life. He says, wherefore the king said, why is thy countenance sad? Seeing that thou was not sick. Even the king was not sick. This is nothing else but the sort of heart. Then I was very well, sir. I was afraid. Next verse, sir. I said, can you read now? Sure. And he said unto the king, let the king live long forever. Why should not my countenance be sad when the city, the place of my father's capital, lieth in waste and the gate thereof are consumed with fire? Next verse. Then the king said unto him, for what thou makest request? What do you want? That is favor. Favor gives people open check when you find yourself in the midst of great people. Sir, it is one thing to find Epa. It is another thing for Epa to help you. You can find them and yet they will not help you. What brings the completion of that process is favor. As from today, you will not only meet Epa, they will help you. I said you will not only mix them that will help you. You will not only mix them that will help you. They will not only mix them that will help you. Promise and fail ends now. And he said, What sir? I pray this, sir. Ayaka. And the king said unto him, What do you want me to do for you? So he prayed to the God of heavens. Next verse. And he said unto the king, If it please the king, and if the servant are fine. Where did he get the favor first from? Then the favor was, sir. The prayer was, sir linked to my he said if i found favor in the sight that that would then send me unto judah and unto the seats of my father's house that i may do what sir i said you don't understand what this guy is saying i will explain to you in a short while and the king said unto him the queen also sitting by him for how long shall the journey be Hi-ya. and when would that recall so he pleased the king to send me and i set him a time next verse moreover i said unto the king if it pleases the king let letter be given to me to governor again let me ride on your influence that governor will begin to see me as a big person sir who you know matters who and it takes favor to know people maybe as you are like this somebody can just call you say brother what are you doing say come and become the major cameraman to one of the senators and they give you a big house in abuja people snapping picture they don't have two heads they only have favor head Anybody doing better than you, the only have was a favored head. So look at your head. Say, what is wrong with my head? Favor rest upon my head. Say what I'm saying. No, you are not saying it, Isaiah. And the Bible says, and beyond the river that they may convey me until I get there. Next verse, as I round off. Three minutes. As I look at this, and a letter unto Asha, the keeper of the king forest, that he may give him timber to make beans eh, for the gates of the palace which appertain to the house and for the wall of the city and for the house that I shall enter into. And the king granted him according to the good hand of my God upon me. That good hand of God upon a man is called favor. The good hand of God is coming upon you. Do you know what he was asking for? You know you don't know what I'm talking about since. See, Nehemiah went to meet a king to empower him to build a city. That, is his, that king, the city is the king's enemy. Jerusalem, the king and that city, they are rivals. They hate themselves. They are killing themselves. And you still come to meet the king, to tell the king to help you, to defend, to build what will empower that city, to kill the king. And the king could not say no. 
Favor compels your enemy to walk in your favor. Even people that don't like you begin to like you. That's the work of favor. Oh, your head. Lord, Lord. let your good hand rest upon me this morning. I'm not sure you want it. As I step out of prayer this morning, let your good hand of favor, let it rest upon my ministry. Let it rest upon my children. How can a man be asking for a man to empower him to build a city that is against him? And the man agreed, let your good hand rest upon my business. Let it rest upon Willis Orb. Let it rest upon Go Forb. Let it rest upon the businesses of people. Slide media. Let the good hand of the Lord rest upon you. This is, let the good hand of the Lord rest upon our teenagers. Let it rest upon the children. Let it rest upon all our elders. The good hand of God. He says, according to the good hand of the Lord that was upon me. Let your good hand rest upon me in ministry. As I are not praying. Amiku Aleka, Leketeba, try and understand what the Maya asked the king. He essentially told the king that he wanted to go back to the king's enemy and help them become strong to defend themselves against the king. Because in those days, the war of Jerusalem were, all, were already broken and it was primary for their defense. And yet the king could not say no. As for now, everywhere I appear, nobody will be able to say no to my request. I shall receive help. Head from small, head from big, the good hand of the Lord is coming upon me. Lekete kataba, shapataba, leke parakatusia, tosin pray, pereke paparakata. This was the outstretched request from Nehemiah, and yet the queen granted it. Rapapapapa, he wasn't a big politician, he was not influential, just a servant, and the king granted it unto him. Rapapapapapata. In Jesus' name, pray. Isaiah, he was not a politician, was he? Do you know what he was asking for? It's a, it's a crazy request. Empower my city, who we are your enemy, so that you will not be able to attack us again. And he said, No problem. That request, it was not a politician, it was not a governor, it was not a big man, but it was a favored man. That means a, big, a favored man is higher than a big man. Are you following what I'm saying? A favored man is Aya. What you need is favor. What you need is what, sir? Favor. The king could not say no. Nobody will say no to you again. You know, you know why? You know why? The good hand of the Lord. Someone say the good hand of the Lord. The good hand of the Lord. What's upon your head? What is it called? What's it called now? Oh, your head too many things again. Say, Lord, I'm about to commence my day. Let that hand that rested upon me this morning. Let it bring abundance. I will not em come back empty handed this morning. I will come back with increase in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray for one more minute. Favor Jesus. Favor Jesus. Favor Jesus. Favor Jesus. Pray for 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 Jesus. How can this be? If not by the hands of God's favor. Now begin to put God's favor where you want to see it. Favor in my business. Favor in my marriage. Favor in my school. Favor in my daily work. All my customers favor before them. In Jesus. Precious name of prayer. Wherever you are connected from this morning, I have the commandment to bless. And everyone that I bless shall be blessed. Therefore, I convey the blessings of Numbers. Numbers chapter 6, verse 23. I have the commandment to bless. Now I'm blessing you as the priest of God. I expect you to receive it very well. Give me 24. I decree this morning the Lord bless you. You didn't hear me. I said the Lord bless you. The God of Israel keep you. The God make his face to shine upon you. He will be gracious to you. The Lord will lift up his countenance upon you. And he will give you peace. I say he will give you peace. He shall put his name upon you. And he will bless you. Your going in is blessed. 
you're going out is blessed the lord preserve your life evil report is not your portion the good hand of the lord rest upon you your battles are over like god help peter when he was in the midst of problem the lord will help you whatever good news you are expecting it will come today everyone owing you money i bring them under pressure until what belongs to you enter your hand system will not rest system will not know peace in the name of jesus everywhere that you should be that the forces of life are owing you down i lose you by fire every chain of limitation around your leg is broken now every chain of limitation around your leg is broken now go forth and bring forth in the name of jesus the good hand of god shall be seen upon your life in the name of Jesus, arise and shine for your light has gone, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Can you shout a sevenfold hallelujah? Hallelujah! 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 hallelujah hallelujah can you shout glory what is upon your head this morning i said what is upon your head if the good hand of god is upon your head if you allow a bad hand of the devil to touch your head the good hand of god upon your head will, be left, will, be, will disappear not everybody can lay hand on your head your head is the symbol of your destiny you can change any part of your body but not your head so don't joke with your head. There's a good hand on you now. The hand of the Lord is upon you. So go and enjoy the day. God bless you. See you 6 p.m. tonight. And the Lord bless you. Tonight is our miracle service. Ensure you are around. God bless you. Shalom.